I got a gift. It's a kayak. The, the gift is a kayak. Let's open it. Full disclosure before I open this kayak up. Lifetime sent me this kayak, okay? I did not buy this kayak. This kayak was given to me as a gift, and in return, I have to give my honest review. So I'm not I'm not uh, gonna be biased on it. If I think it sucks, I can tell you it sucks. If I think it's great, I'll tell you it's great. If there's anything that needs improvement, in my opinion, I'm gonna share it in this video. Um, it's not a, not a fishing kayak per se, it's just a basic kayak um, that you'd use for just whatever. It's a sitting kayak. It's not for sale just yet. So I'm gonna test it out, make a video for you guys and uh, kind of go over it. And then uh, this summer, I believe they're going to release it. So anyway, enough of that. Let's uh, open it up. And there we go. Got it open finally. Something that's nice, you know, with its own paddle, which is pretty sweet because I have, I'm not sure you can see that kayak in there or not, but uh, the Teton Pro right there, that's an Angler kayak, did not come with a paddle. I had to buy my own separate. So it's kind of nice that, I mean, it's the same, same company, but uh, there is a, a paddle included. Looks pretty spacious in my opinion. All right. Not sure what this box is, but we will. Ah, Chris. That's me. Let's see what this is. Because I have no idea. please it's a little bit better kind of anyway let's see what's in this really quick if I can get it open that's pretty sweet all right nice little lifetime snapback right there Pretty nice, I like that. I'm not usually someone that wears a, a flat bill on top. I prefer the the dad cap kind of style, I guess. But uh, it's pretty nice. I'll rock that. Then uh, we also got this little thing right here, which I am not entirely sure what it is, so hold on a minute. Sorry guys, I'm doing this real time, okay? This is the, this is the first and only take that I'm doing, hence this horrible shot cutting off my head, horrible angle. Anyway, okay, nice. It's like a little uh, little dry bag. I guess I can put it the right way. Little six liter dry bag. Also with the Lifetime logo on it. Pretty nice though. So, pulled up a couple times. Good to go, I can, I can use this for like my phone, GoPro batteries, that kind of thing, and just freaking toss it in the kayak. Lastly is a card. I'm assuming it's instructions or something. I don't know. We'll find out together. Okay. Then it's the card. Let's see what it says. It says, uh, Chris, thank you so much for reviewing our new Lifetime Tundra Kayak. We cannot wait to hear what you think and see the content you create. Best Lifetime Reviews team. So, not too bad little handwritten too kind of nice somewhat personal but uh, got a little 15% off discount which I'm gonna cover the code so nobody takes it from me and then uh, just a bunch of stickers that came inside the card again a little snapback hat to go with it the dry bag anyway let's actually get into the details of this kayak and then I will take that on the water I'm gonna go kayaking. I'm gonna take a rod out and go fishing because I have to, I have to. Anyway, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Chris's voice is out of commission, but I wanted to give you the specs on this kayak. 
It's 10 feet long, three feet wide, and a foot deep. It can hold up to 275 pounds. It has padded leg rest, adjustable foot rest, front and back storage. It has adjustable chair, right paddle holder, front shelf, front drain plug, two carry handles, and a back toe wheel. All right, you're going to forgive my voice. I'm not sure if it sounds different to you, but I'm starting to lose it. Um, but I'm going to bring the kayak and uh, drop it right behind me in this water right here. I brought one rod and one bag of soft plastics. I'm gonna do just a little bit of fishing and then I'm also just gonna ride around in it, um, test it out. And when I'm done, I'll let you guys know, you know what I think about it, the goods and the bads. Um, you know, how does it feel? Does it feel like it's gonna tip over on me? Does it feel comfortable when I'm sitting in it for a long period of time? You know, I'm, I'm six foot two and a half. Um, so I'll let you know if, you know, a long or, you know, tall person is comfortable in this thing. And uh, yeah. That's about it. We'll, just, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's about 4:30, 5 o'clock ish on the afternoon. 90 degrees. Um, it's hot. So I doubt I'm gonna catch any fish. But that's not the point of this. The point is to just see how the kayak feels and if it's fun and comfortable to use. So let's get out there. doesn't get completely covered in mud on a Monday afternoon after work. Here we go. Man, I haven't been in a sitting kayak in a very long time. All right. All right. There's that. Okay. All right. There are some some actual like pedals or footrests underneath here, and they are adjustable. Um, there's a couple spots here and right down there uh, to bring them farther or closer, uh, depending on how tall you are. But that's there. I actually really really like this right here. Very comfortable. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can maybe get something under that tree with Rattlin' Ned. Let's we'll see if we have any luck. Again, I literally just brought this and what you see right there, nothing else. I actually forgot pliers, so I had to take these out of my, uh, my tool bag in the truck for work, but it's all good. This is something which not that you can't fish in it. Um, I mean, clearly it seems like it's gonna be pretty comfortable for fishing in, but I definitely see this as more of a, um, just recreational kayak in my opinion. You know, if you wanna go to the springs, you bring this with you and just kind of enjoy it. The seat's actually really comfortable, even though it just kind of sits in here. I thought it'd be a lot, a lot more uh, wobbly or unstable. I mean, once you get your weight on it, it feels pretty good. Again, um, I'm not sure if these are standard anymore or not, but uh, I really, really like the, the pads. They're very comfortable. As far as stability, I mean, you can easily move it, but it goes right back and it's, it feels pretty good. It's pretty nice. This thing's pretty nice. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, 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 something has it. Nice. Look at that, that's pretty good, pretty good right there. Well, Look at that, guys. You got one. Rattling Ned, right around right, right the tongue. He picked it up and ran with it and let go. Nice. Let's get him back in the water. Another one back out here. I 
if I, I can get one more now. There's gotta be at least one more that's gonna bite, bite tonight before I leave. Another one. There we go, come on. Little guy. Little guy. But we'll, whoa, we'll take him. I don't even know where the where the bait went. Another guy. Get one. Baby's not happy. I'm not sure you guys can hear that in the video or not, but there's a baby crying behind me. Sounds kind of pissed. Looks like somebody woke him up early. Alright, let's try one more. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding me? You guys see that? On the net rig. Right in the side of the face. Look at that guy. I gotta get a picture. guys so i'm done i fished for about an hour and 10 minutes kayaked around and uh, i gotta say it's it's pretty nice um i still prefer overall for fishing i like a, a sit on kayak versus a sit in but i mean it was really comfortable i didn't get cramped up or at all i mean i didn't bring a bag with me but you could have easily brought a bag a cooler there were storage in the back i rocked it side to side and there was uh, you know, no issue with that at all. I didn't feel like I was gonna tip over. Um, it was really smooth, it was very comfortable. Um, ultimately, I would personally probably use it more as a just like leisure kayak, something to go around again at the springs in. Uh, maybe you know, let my wife use it and I could use my, my actual angler kayak. Um, but it was fun to fish in. You know, I, I, I caught a handful of fish, it was, it was pretty fun. And uh, I mean, I'd, I'd recommend it. Again, I don't know the price point, um, it's not for sale yet, so I, I can't give you a link or how much it costs. But if the if the price isn't crazy crazy high, I would I would, I would definitely recommend it. Um, if if I didn't have it for free and uh, it wasn't crazy crazy expensive, this is something that I could easily see getting for my wife or even my daughter. Um, she's turning seven, so she's a little smaller now. But when she gets a little bit older, you know, I'm clearly gonna have this here. If she wants to go kayaking with me or go fishing with me, uh, I, I would have no problem letting her use this. Even if she wanted to do it now, um, I could just tie her on the mine. But um, it's a very comfortable kayak. Uh, I got I got no issues, except for again, um, on my Angler kayak, you have that rope in the front so you can grab onto while as you sit up. Uh, it would be nice to see something like that on this because again, the seat is not mounted in or clipped in; it's just sitting there. So trying to get out of the kayak is a little bit tough. Um, but other than that, I got, I got no issues with it. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video again, please like, subscribe, um, comment if you didn't like it. If you did like it, I can take the criticism. So uh, let me know what you think. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one.